Hello and good evening. This is um well, this is like my second uh <clears throat> recording for this year for Playbook TV. So um this evening we'll try to be recreating this particular graphic. I haven't done anything like it before. Um this is my first time taking on this approach. <clears throat> so this was done by, um, I found this on Google earlier today, this is done by Yoga Perdana. Yeah, if you are on Dribble, give him a follow, I think, yeah, from Indonesia. And has a massive following, which I do not. <laughs> Alright, so, um... Um, we'll, be, we'll try to recreate this. I haven't done anything like this before in my life, so I think we'll just have to like figure it out together and like see how he accomplished something of this nature. Um, as always, my approach is raw, real time, actionable workflow, and um, let's get started. <clears throat> so before we get started, forgive my coughing. Before we get started, um. I would like to say I have three dribble invites. Just in case you think I'm like kidding, I have three dribble invites which I'm giving out before the 27th, as um, the window to send in your work to me to evaluate will close on the 27th of January this month. Um, 2018 and um, to qualify for a review to get a dribble invite first of all you know haha follow me on dribble I really don't have that much in terms of clout on dribble but you know work with me here so follow me on dribble um, follow layers on Instagram follow overlay on Instagram and then send your work via DMs to overlay on Instagram. I will take a look at it and I will certify that you have, I will confirm that you have submitted your work. Then on the 3rd of February, I will announce the people who I am giving out um, my dribble, dribble invites to. So yeah, I have dribble invites to give out, three of them. Well, yeah, and I think, um, um, brands that's Paul Adetunji also has two invites to give, so we can also check him out. Um, yeah, so let's get started. First things first, let me copy this image. Fancy mechanical desktop, and I will have to open Adobe Illustrator. There we go, nice friendly software. Fortunately, unfortunately, I left my Wacom pen at the office, so uh, I'm going to be doing this with a mouse. This will be painful. <laughs> okay, so um, let's see. Um, we're going to create a new document. Usually, I would be for landscape. For with them to cover all that nice fancy stuff. All right, so here we have it. So let's paste what we want to create here. Zoom out a bit. Um, layers, properties, library, upward. So let's create a new upward. So we're looking at. The visuals side by side, and um, let's start. I think let's start with the drop, the water drop, so to speak. So I'm thinking maybe we'll do like a circle. Um, the properties, change the fill to blue, maybe. Um, yeah, maybe. Yeah, change to blue. I think this might be the appropriate height, I mean, um, width. So, um, I'm 
thinking we can do this one of two ways. We're going to do the easy way to get this top over here. Let's see. We can do the easy way. We can just get a square, get the perfect square, and then we just flip the script on it and uh, minimize it to about this point. Let me see. something here okay so let's press a pick these two nodes here that's here and here drag it down they work nah, not as much all right let's try it again drag it down fix the hmm. let's see how do we fix this extra blob so I'm thinking maybe we'll have to cut it out hmm. should we okay let's let's keep this guys here let's try an optimism approach press A and then select the top node and then just drag it up drag it up shrink one end to the side shrink one end to the side and you can try to like eyeball it and like see if it is as close to um nah, then we're gonna remotely close so let's, let's keep trying. Can we ship this guy to get the ship we want? Maybe. Ship this guy again a little bit. The close. Not even remotely. I'm suspecting we might have to move this guy a little bit. So we slide out the alt so you can just control one half of that node. So I'm gonna try and repeat this here. got like some really sharp edges so um so I'm probably like nodes up here here so let's see if we can make use of those and then um, add some curves to the I don't know oh well, that's interesting so maybe we'll sell all three and then we'll see what happens Close, 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 
close, not too close, but close. Okay, so we'll just uh, do this much in here. So we'll do that. Yeah, I'm thinking this is as close as I can imagine. You probably suspect the heart will be a bit wider. This is close. So let's pick up. Let's add a gradient to this so we can try and replicate some of this um, shine here. I am thinking maybe if I made this um, a little bit lighter. I didn't work out. Okay, so a little bit lighter. Mm -hmm. Close, 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 close. Then I will duplicate it. Duplicate it and then apply a gradient to it. Mm. Apply a gradient to it. Mm -hmm. yes. No, that didn't work. Huh? Mm -hmm. If you think about it that way. Alright, so. Uh, apply gradient, apply gradient. <laughs> How did I use that? Hey, I have went to work and I'm recording. How <laughs> 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 far? You're home early. Yeah. Say so you're home early. No, no, no. Probably. You, I see you're home early. Oh, they just to come up with office? Nah. Well, a friend that was coming this week. Oh, that's nice. Well, you just saved me the embarrassment of having to look for the gradient to uh, like the fucking gradient. What are you working on? No, I'm trying to recreate a logo. It's giving me fucking nightmares. How about your school stuff? Hmm? Yes, uh, I've got I've downloaded all the tutorials man. I've already started, but I haven't like started building up. So I'm still looking at the Swift. Oh. Will you have next Swift yet? Yeah. I'll play with you. <laughs> I'll give you my materials. It's not hard. <laughs> Um, some kind of orange. 
pigments like filled with orange, yellow, orange, yellow. It's kind of funny. Like the color we call orange isn't really orange. It's I don't know. <laughs> I, I, I already know. But anyways, so we we have a. Uh, our circle here. So here is where the real magic work begins because we have to create these guys and you know the curves around it. So yeah, I'm thinking this requires a bit of thinking. So if I'm looking at it right, this might be a circle that I can exploit. Let's see. Alright. Let's close to a circle actually. It's quite literally as close to a circle as I can imagine. So, this is a circle and I can exploit. So, uh, and probably this is another circle. Probably bigger. Is there so we yeah, have two circles? So, if those are circles, then how how do you make the wave How do you make a wave happen? Because I kind of figured that this outer rim is also a circle. Oh, it's a bit tricky. Okay, let's let's do this again. Let's remove this guy. Put this guy here. So we let me have two circles. Same radius, same everything, have two circles. So it's simply a matter of getting the geometry right and I think I might need a third circle, maybe in the middle. Um let me pick it off with a different color. But uh, mind you guys, I'm just testing out a theory. So I might be right, I might be wrong. Uh, it's not perfect. It's not perfect. It's not perfect. Unless it is. Huh. Well, what do you know? So perfect. Okay, so let's. Remove this color, stick it like an outline to it. So, the lines out of this guy. So, I think we like what we're doing. Let me make these lines um, a weird color so that I can. Oh, no, 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 no. That won't do. That will not do at all. So, let's give it like something hot so we can like, see. Um, yeah. So I have like some kind of guide that actually guides how to create my first uh, the first uh, circle. So I mean the first uh, waves. Okay, so let's 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 see how that will work practically. So maybe I can take this guys. I think I think how this things work is that you usually have to draw them out first and I think I kinda like missed that 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 step because um I mean I'm literally just copying or trying to recreate that's a fancy word for copying. But I'm trying to recreate what he's already done and I am trying and I'm using, you know, I'm just trying to like decode what how he might have did you know, like did it. I suspect he drew first, you know, did all the Rasmataz behind it, then um, before coming to Illustrator and they just like doing the swish swish in there. Alright, so all right, so it's you know it's, it's go time at this point. So let's see how we can make this happen. Um, so this is our primary circle. Duplicate that. Duplicate that bolt. Um, yeah, this is a scary bit. Okay, be calm. You can do this. 
you press P, uh, you need to pick up call first. Oh no, that's wrong. We can't even do that. Have to pick a solid film call first. Uh, oh, I close, I close that. Then um, pick my pen tool. With my pen tool, I will try to see if I can do this. And this will probably get me killed because I'm pretty confident. It's a fantastically bad idea, but you know, let's, let's see how we make it, we make it skill, if we can. Uh, so, we do that there. Oh no, we, we don't have that, that guy. So, what we're going to do is maybe create a point here and try to do this to it. So it follows this guy. Um, keep the, this guy in mind. And then we'll just make this guy look sharper and sexier. Yeah. So, sharper and sexy. <laughs> You know, like words that you literally love to hear whenever a client is describing a design. I want to be the pop, I want to be sexy, blah 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 blah. Dear Lord. <laughs> Alright, so then I think I have gotten this part. Huh. What the hell? Okay, so um, let me take out the little outlines. First, take out the outlines. Oh no, that's wrong. Take out these outlines. There we go. Close, 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 close. All right. So it's close, yeah. So let's let's see if we can just make some small adjustments to make it fit the the drop. So press A. I suspect my adjustments will come from here. Take here. Hold my Alt so it doesn't like disturb the other side. And then just round it up here, right here. So then I'll take this guy and then hold my eyes again. So just try to ease him into there. And come back here and just just is it so it like properly covers the? Is it so it properly covers the? Um, Raindrop. Am I missing anything? Nah, it's a small tinge. Can we forgive it? Nah, it needs to be perfect. It needs to be perfect. Alright. Alright, so I think I'll put in the, the big hand of it. So, do I need to make this edge sharper? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think it even gives it like a better wave, wavy experience. Alright, so if we come here. We come here. Let's see. Can we just uh, maybe change this guy in a bit? Tighten, tighten a bit up. Yeah, yeah. Then uh, hold again and um, Alt, so we're not affecting the other side. And then just is it in there? So I think so far we have succeeded in creating our first wave. Looking sharp. Alright, so let's put back our um, guides, which have been like helpful so far. So we have our first wave. Um, this this is this is super awesome so far. So um, let's create the second wave. That's the inner wave. This guy here. 
Um, so what I'm going to do is the same process. I'll just duplicate this circle. Oh, oh no, that's wrong. <laughs> All right, so I'll just hold my Alt and um, with my circle selected, hold Alt and just press any of the arrow keys to be up down. That instantly duplicates the um, the object. So I've done that. I will fill it with a real color, and then um, what am I gonna do? I I should make this color slightly darker so I'm able to quickly differentiate. There we go. That's a perfect color. That's like the near perfect color. So I will press A. And take this node here, and um, pull it to the side. I think I also have to pull this guy in. So, so that I, I, I keep my guide. Let me press. I'm gonna shift keyboard shortcuts. You would press Control. I mean, if you're in a map, command the command and your back brace should send your layer behind any object or push it behind like one step. So I'm pushing like a bunch of steps so I can see what I'm doing. And um, close, 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 we're getting there. So we need to achieve this this wave so what we're gonna do we're gonna you know same process as before we create a node here and then we will drag it 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 but uh, did I get it did I get it did I get it all right so while that's down let's stretch this guy Stretch this guy to around here. Uh, have fun. I'm watching this process up. Huh. Okay. So I think they noticed that this they form all of this entire circle. So that probably means it's a smaller circle, and I probably have to like account for that. So maybe this would suffice I can pull it down and even the same thing here pretty much the same height huh. still trying to get the hand of it Let us 
let's remove our guides and see for ourselves what we are doing. Hmm. Let's see. My skill, 1 to 10. This is close. This is close. No, this is cutting close. Alright, so let's, let's um, make our small adjustments. Zooming. Oh no, <laughs> that is not the plan. Zooming and bring it to this tangy end here. Then um, hold my alt and control this part so that it unites and somehow makes babies with this guy. Yeah, okay, so I'm gonna cheat. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, so I, I, I just like made that particular edge round so that it kind of like follows. So, so, um, Let's look at what we have versus what we've done. So I can remove the guides of this one. Mm, yes, this this sucks. <laughs> this sucks balls. <laughs> this really sucks. Okay, so let's let's try and fix it. Let's let's see if we can fix it. If it's even fixable. Okay. Alright, so let me press A and I will arch this guy a little bit upward. So, and um, I will pull this guy. Pull him down a bit more. Yeah. So, get in it, get in it, get in it, get in it, get in it. Then I will make this guy a bit sharper. Okay, so, alright, so, 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 not perfect yet, not yet perfect, because this guy, I think, I think what's killing it is this area, this area over here, so we will try to do one of two things, instead of we, like, figure out how to make it work here, or we will use alternative mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. all right don't 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 screw this up come on yes don't screw it up don't screw it up you can do this don't screw it up ah, i screwed it up <laughs> i screwed it up no i didn't mean to oh man all right all right this is not working it's close but it's not working um but we can see that we are actually making some considerable progress. Mm, yeah, we're making some considerable progress. Okay, so um, hmm. I think it's high time to call you a dragon. <laughs> so this is uh, the um, shape or two, I believe. Yeah. So yeah, shape or two. No, that's wrong. Actually, wrong tool. The tool I'm looking for, actually, the shortcut for it is Shift M, and it just like solves my problems. Like, oh no, that's a wrong. That's a wrong. Uh, that's a wrong shortcut. Sorry. Uh, Shift N. Oh, that can't be right. Shift O, then you are bored. Shift Q, Shift W. Oh, that's funny. I forgot my own shortcut key. <laughs> I think it's here. It's Shift R. I found it. Yeah, so we come here, we actually just go to the walk tool, and then we try. 
see this. So let's see how we can get this to happen without losing fidelity. Just this area a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, just a little bit. So um, let's try that again. We'll call here, walk to, all shift on, and then we'll just try to. No, it's wrong. Try to ease this place a bit. Push this bit. Either again, do get it, do get it, did we get it? It's still not smooth, damn it. Okay, let's still not that doesn't have that smoothness. I'm guessing I'll just leave this for now. It still looks wonky. It's not as smooth as the original. So I guess we'll just have to leave that for now. Alright, so let's get to the one on top. Oh, do, do, we give, do, we, do we give this guy a go? That's uh, this guy. So yeah, let's see if we can like, walk away through that. Like this. And we'll just change the color, make it slightly lighter. Lighter, actually. Yeah, close, 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 close. So, if we tried to clip it, I'm not sure it will produce the same effect we're actually looking for. Let me see if we try to reduce it, however. Would it? Mm. It's a bit of a gamble. Let's see if I'm doing this right. Okay, so notice how it curves away at this point. So I'm thinking maybe if he did it the way I'm doing it, he most likely just rotated it. So, 
let's try something good for good for us if it actually does work out bad for us if it doesn't okay so maybe we can stretch with this guy to look closer to this edge uh drop it drop it to this edge drop it uh turn it maybe yeah Turn it, turn it, boost this guy also slightly. And then, um, let's see, are we getting it? Are we getting it? It's probably not doing a lot of perfect replica. Okay. Okay, so let's let's just make a cut. So you, we select the two, these two shapes here, and then, um, we make a cut. Usually, for making this kind of this kind of cuts, we have the shape builder tool, which you can access with Shift M. So put that. Now, normally we can just like do this and everything man, um, everything blends, but that's not what we're after. We want to cut off this part. So um, we are. Uh, Going to hold Alt and click this part, and it's gone. Is it close to where we're after? Can't say. But let's shift away from that mode and look at it some more. Ah. Zoom out. It is close. This edge is sharp. So let's see if there's something we can do about that edge to make it look more. You know, sexy. Watch out. All right. So apparently, this yeah, no, that might not be the best solution. So what I'm thinking is we would most likely would have to drag this guy to this point. No, that won't work either. Okay, so. We can remove this guy to create like some kind of cataclysmic error. So it's now left to us to try to fix it. We just have to because I'm a design superhero. Yeah. Alright, that's just weird. <laughs> Alright, so um so uh pocket this to the point where I think is uh, still far because you see there's like some considerable distance here and that distance is absent here so I can try this and um, force this oh no force this no 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 Push this in. Push this in this way. Closer, 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 closer. So I can do it now. So for this one, I have to hold my alt on this node. And close. This has a special roundness to it, so I'm thinking maybe I should close this gap here. No, that's, that's not even it. Maybe that's not going to work either. Alright, so um, maybe I could try raising this guy up slightly. Close. Really close actually. Really, really close. Yeah, okay, so let's just leave, leave it at that. Um, let's fix this small area here, which we can just simply do by um, just resting it. I think I should solve the problem really quickly and then just reading this guy also slightly. Alright, 
So, ah, so far so good. You know, we've got we've got the hard the basics out. The harder parts are like applying the gradients and making sure that they're actually consistent. But you know, we've got the waves out. We've got the waves out, and like that's really good. So let's like. Um, try apply the same logic to creating the waves on top. Wow, man! How far in are we? Um, I don't know. It's difficult to say. Yeah. So um, we're gonna continue. Uh, let's use the same process. This time we this time it's gonna be a little trickier because the circles will be smaller and we don't have like a guiding circle on top here. So we more or less have like a guiding um, V. So whatever it is that we're doing we'll probably have just different tasks for like V. So let's trim our guide a guiding circle around here. Make sure that it fits. Um, Agenda. Yeah, that's right. And then, um, oh gosh, we're gonna have to deal with this again, won't we? Yeah, we're gonna have to. Shit. Okay, so um, we'll keep this guy here and here, tighten up, make sure it fits. Mm, looks like it might fit. All right, so we'll just take. Here and then, so I'm thinking if I'm gonna get a circle here, I'll just like um, shoot it out. We'll just get this this shape perfectly well done, so that I'll have to extract the excesses. So um, let's give it a shot. So we'll take our guides. Um, oh wow! So apparently, even our guides do because of the poor, <laughs> because of our poor drop. Our guides kind of don't fit, so we have to just improvise. So maybe, um, maybe if we reduced it. Bit. Yeah. 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 That that should do. It. Oh, it's not even reducing. Okay, just reduce it a bit, and bring them lower a bit. Then uh, I think just just in it so that they touch. All right. So we have that. We have mission ignition. Alright, so, um, we shall, um, 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 okay, so let's duplicate this guy, hold alt, with the circle selected, we'll duplicate this guy by holding alt and pressing the left direction key, it can be any direction key, again, it's just a quick shortcut, it helps you walk real fast, so, it's already duplicated. All right, so um, we give it a color. Let's pick this guy, um, and then uh, so I think yeah, we press A. So how did we do it last time? Magic. Okay, so we'll just extend this guy to here. Same approach as before. Nothing new. Um, we'll create a new here. Ah, is that? Create a new here, and then we will try to lower it around here. And we'll probably just where it touches the edge of this circle, and we'll push this. Go out this way. And I think 
kind of feel that I need to be looking at what I'm doing. Yeah. Yeah, I'm kind of push this up. Okay, so let's push this guy a little downwards. Take this guy a little bit upwards because it's still going to curve. It's still going to curve. So let's rationalize the curve. <laughs> I mean, I didn't even come out right. Let's rationalize the curve. So, like, imagine some girl that you were like really into, and then, um, <laughs> and then you know, you, you you just like okay, you throw the balls and you decide to like okay, let's go ask, let's go ask her out, and then um, she's like, oh, you know, Anna, you know, I don't see you that way. Uh, you know, like a brother to me, and she's like, oh. Brother, oh my God, I've been brother zoned. So like, the, I think I think like the first 10, 15 minutes, it's this you trying to rationalize the, the curve. You just you just go and you're like, wait, what? How did we get here? This is so wrong. Yeah. Okay. So let's let let's, let's let's leave that banter for like another day. So let's push this guy to the top. See, so begin to take like some good shape now. Mm, stretch this. Stretch this. I'm thinking we need to put like extra loops here to limit it in. So we just tighten this guy here. Put this guy in here. And um, maybe no, not sure. And um, I think I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Um, I will put this guy here. Yep, that is not the way to do it. So I'm thinking maybe I'll just uh, lower this guy. Oh, oh, that's wrong. That's very wrong. How did that? How did you get to that? It's not even a complete shape. How did I do that? No. Okay, let's delete that. So that's not happening. So, um, take this guy and like, um, pull your ult down. And just try to, yeah, that way. So. Hmm. Funny. All right, so let's put a note here. Um, try to rationalize it. <laughs> okay, that's not even gonna work. I cannot tell really bad at jokes. Someone that I'm gonna make feel still like chills with me. She thinks my jokes are funny. All right, so um, wow. All right, so um, how are we doing? Let's remove our guides to see if we are on the right track. Duh, close, 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 close. Close. So you see that this guy has like more of, um, of an edge, I mean a more curve around this area. So let's see if we can, um, if we can force that to happen. Now you press A to get in there. And, uh, I think I'll just have to push this guy a little up or down as the case may be. Drag this guy in so that he has the curve we need. Does he? So let's take the guy a little bit more up again. Drag this guy down a bit more. And uh, okay, so I fear I kind of fear that this this section isn't smooth enough. So 
So let's, let's, uh, let's try shift a little bit. Yeah, let's hit this section. I don't know. It kind of just looks... It kind of looks... Hmm. Oh, a little bit. It has this bulge. It doesn't feel natural. Hmm. Alright, let's see if I can do anything about that. Unnatural bulges. Why do you do that? You be circle off. Fine, you know what? I'm gonna get the big guns out. You are going to obey me. See? Obeyed. <laughs> so I just use like the shape builder to um uh, the shape builder or tool to um, to just like smooth smooth the edge. Um I think maybe it this side could also benefit from uh, some mopping. So let's just see if we can yeah. 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 So see how smooth it is all of a sudden. Well <coughs> we have created some work. I'm proud of myself and if you've been following me you should be proud of yourself too because this is uh <laughs> man, this 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 is such a rush to be honest. Okay, so let's let's proceed to creating this other smaller node here. Um, we that is a smaller guy. Let me just rearrange everybody in their respective roles. Right here. Pick this guy. <coughs> Dress him in a little bit. I'll pick this guy. I'll duplicate him. Um, um, give him like a little light color. Oh, yeah, darker color because I'll push him back. And then I will take his node and drag it inwards. And we'll take this node and drag it inwards as well. So I'll push back again so it goes behind this guy. And then um, I think I'll take this node and take it a bit down, let's see what we're doing. Ah yes, so it's definitely going down. So, um, what we're going to do now is go, we're going to create a node here in the middle. And we are going to play with it until it fits what we're going for. Uh, is this it? Okay, I think at this point I have to remove the guide. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh no. Okay, so first things first, let's let's fix this. Let's fix this. Let's first of all. Let's fix you. So we don't go on looking like doofus. And let's fix you. I think this is pretty close. Well, I don't know if it's a bit far away, but yeah, this is close. Uh, I know this, this, this guy actually goes a lot inwards, so we're just pushing it up a bit. It's near. Perfect. Perfect, actually. I prefer that guy, but you know, I mean, you get the full picture. So, um, we are going to move this guy. Oh, okay, yeah. 
So <coughs> I need to ensure that this section of the guide is not this page. Oh no 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 no! Don't mess it up. this guy will add a lower skill so let's try and see if we can pull that off yeah, it will never be that easy let's give it a different color let's drop this guy a bit oh it's actually that easy huh I am disturbed Okay, so let's align our nodes to... Okay, so um, let's... Do we have to stretch it? I guess I'm gonna have to. Maybe still reduce it. Okay. Okay, let's keep it here. All right? We'll keep it there. So clearly even stretching might not work. Let's see. Don't look a trick it. We could trick it, yeah. We could trick it. So let's stop pushing nodes around. Alright, so still push on nodes around until we get the thing we want. Or we could just like you know go fuck it and then just do this instead and you'll see why in a bit. So I think we'll just keep this guy high end. So I'll just Make sure this guy actually aligns with this section here. Does it? Does it? Does it? Does it? Does it? Does it? Close. Okay, it's fresh. So we'll just pick this guy and this guy and then shift M and delete this guy away and voila. So I kind of suspect we might have to do the same thing for this guy and this guy. Shift M. Come close here and delete the excess luggage. Probably have to go into the small spaces. Zoom in a bit. There we go. So this is where I actually agree. Take this guy, this guy, do the same treatment. Make sure they are literally agree. I think they do. Do in a good place. Not necessarily. Okay, so I think they're in a good place. 
Alright, so, so far so good. We have created um, something rather exceptional. By our, my own count at least, I haven't done anything like this. So, so I think uh, it's time to start adding the gradients. Doing some very interesting adjustments. <coughs> okay, so... Um, mm, okay, so first things first, I'm thinking maybe we'll just um, duplicate this bit and um, give it a gradient I think that won't work so we need to change how the gradient happens options and then um, and uh, okay so pretty sure we have a base color so we just um, select it Oh no, that's that's wrong. Okay. So we'll be needing one of these colors to lose the opacity. So it's zero. And that's as close as we can get it to work. And then let's boost this guy a bit so that it doesn't look and will feel. So I'll just duplicate this. Um, maybe a darker, more a darker blue should suffice in this case. Maybe something a little darker. Yeah. So uh, this time around, it's not going to be like I think it's going to be a lot, a lot linear. So this guy will not be 100, this would be 0, this would be 100, sorry. So I think I'm messing up the colors. <laughs> Alright, so, um, okay, let me push this up a bit, a bit again, push this guy in. So, uh-huh, yeah, there we are, that's the color we're looking for. Yeah. Okay, so I can suspect that this guy Still not our best color out there. Um, it's not just sitting well with me. So let's go to properties. A bit of layers. I don't like properties, I think. Um, Oh, it was always 
looks nice, yeah. So, um, maybe, 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 let's just use it in here. Oh, well, we can't win them all. So we have our gradient here. So we need like a gradient that comes from here. So maybe I will duplicate this guy. And then just um, do a lazy gradient in from here. Oops. Oops. Close, 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 close. So I think I'll just push this guy out here. Is it? Is it? Is it? Is it? Is it? It's getting it. Getting it. Getting it. Getting it. Okay, so maybe we can like, duplicate this gradient and then gradient um, options. Maybe make this. Something fundamentally wrong with the uh, color choices. So let's hold on to this first. Let's make this gradient. We might multiply. Uh, that's rich. Something I saw, like offset path. Let's see, oh, that's wrong. So it's not supposed to go outside. So we will. Okay, let's put that there. Let's drop this guy a little bit more. The way I actually had it in mind, so I am thinking, I am thinking, I am thinking, I am thinking that so I'm 
trying to accomplish this so that I can like do the replicate the same thing here, but I don't think that might work. It might actually. It has to be the way. Okay. <clears throat> so let's just like create like a bunch of ingredients here. Um, I think this one is like a little bit straightforward. I need to like get the values straightened out. I need to do something about this way. I need to do something about this way. It's not a time of color. I'm supremely confused with. So let's keep this guy as a part. This is our base color, right? Wait, alright. So let's move you a bit. You have white. So you can't be white. Excess fat. So then we'll take this guy, play right here, and that is as close as I can get to this effect. Okay, so let's. Um, I think the gradient's supposed to be a lot stronger around this region before coming out here. Do we have to apply like a double gradient? Let's see. It's gonna be a thing. Alright, so let's. Let's. Boost this guy around here. Let's look at it so we know what we're doing. So I'm thinking maybe just it does look nice like this. It does look nice like this, but you know that's not what we're aiming for. We're not like a complete replica, so not like hundred percent replica, but you know, close enough. So yeah. Yeah, 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 perfect, perfect, maybe if I boost this guy, maybe to have some shoe, no, 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 not so much, I don't try a lot too much, but I think, you know, so far so good, yeah, so far so good, <laughs> although this edge was a lot sharper, So we can even try like some kind of dark blue. So let's duplicate this. Select this guy. Oh, because we have to duplicate this one as well. So we select this two 
and then just delete this guy. As well as any other like random stragglers. Oh, okay, we've got the banana wipes cooking. Okay, so let's see if our theory is right. Yeah, we're right. So we just like put it here. You. 
to make sure that I'm actually like, doing the right thing yeah Okay, it's 
just going in the wrong direction, so I could dump it in the wrong direction. Alright, so I need it like, to be extra white here, especially here. Kind of now looks weird, low key. So let's. Oh my god, it's even over there. I think it's usually very frustrating. Uh, if I pushed it down, did it? Did it? Maybe. Okay. So let's put this guy back. Maybe we'll just okay, 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 okay. So we just take this guy and then just like you know pull past one real quick. Like nothing it's fancy. Uh, just from no wrong direction. <laughs> no, but that, like think about it. If the band called One Direction were actually heading in the wrong direction. How would you tell them that, guys, 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 this is not clearly not the right direction? Like, like oi, One Direction, you're in the wrong direction. That. See, I told you my jokes were lame. So you have been forewarned. So. Slightly see if we can change the blend mode to give some effect. Ooh, were we lucky? Were we, were we, were we? Ah, just a little bit. Just a little bit. Did we do this? This is wow, to do this? Oh my god. No wonder it was looking weird. People like screwed over the main gradients. Alright, so I just pick one of like the white gradients we've actually done before. So um put in the middle. Show sure, like overlay. Doesn't matter. Yeah, I'm thinking this is, this is good. Okay, this is this is as close to perfect as we can get to this style. Like the first time I'm doing it, I think I probably need some more practice. But I think I think it's a beautiful style. All right, so let's take this. Um, no, okay, yeah. Uh, let's take this again. So move it a few pixels up, not too much. And then pick this guy, shift M, and delete all these guys away. So we just pick this guy from here, and make sure he falls here.
ya 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 so maybe we could just like like go wild at this point because I think all this is left is like a gradient here so I think we can like go wild with this small oh so um so I'm thinking maybe we just do take this guy <coughs> Duplicate him and um, yeah, go crazy. Yeah, this is me going cray cray. No, so I think I'll just do you know the no. So I think I'll just like let's get this guy up here. So that's that. So I'm thinking I'll just move it. We could say white, boost it a bit. Keep that there. Maybe raise this guy by a bit. So I'm thinking. Maybe we're stretching a bit. Then I'll duplicate this guy and duplicate this guy. Come here, trim this away, trim all of this away, 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 away. Oh come on, man! You're going. I'm not even biting this. You're going. All right. So, um, thinking maybe a darker shade. So we'll just throttle this in here. So because this isn't fully sharp, it um things like more light are really like nicely so I think what you could, could do is what you could do is do a simple thing and then just select like really deep oranges so that it, uh, you are as close to your desired color. So I think we'll just do no, no, don't do that, don't do that. So we'll just bring this in. No, 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 don't do that. So we want to uh, trim that as this fat off. So looking good so far. So we want to uh, want to <laughs> we actually want to select 
the circle behind. It's kind of a bit of long walk, so that's literally the circle behind. So, um, we'll just do this. I think I'll just do this. Oh yeah, it's big. So, we can, at this point, decide to drop the opacity, make it like increments of 10, or 5. I don't know, 10 seems like a bit. Then we duplicate it. To this. I kind of have a feeling that maybe this would look fair better if this was like screen or overlay. So I'm thinking I'll just like you know try and step by step this guy. Let me just boost the passive a bit. I think this is shy. So I'm thinking, you know, we shift this a bit down. Maybe um, a little less, a little more towards the whiter spectrum. I'm thinking. I think I like did a really poor job at it. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Let's get this outer circle. And then push it a bit more outside. And um, maybe drop the opacity. Yeah, I think I ruined it. <laughs> I think I ruined it. So maybe, maybe, maybe. Okay, so let's 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 take this. I think I just like did it. All right. So I'll just um, take out the circles one after the time because it, it doesn't make sense. I think that what it was before was perfect. Huh? Hmm, funny. So I think like, you know, this is this is pretty much the end of this uh, recording. I think I tried my best to replicate a style that I am mostly unfamiliar with. Basically, I, I mean, like looking at it and looking at it and eyeballing it from far, but I had no idea it took this uh, amount of work. 
And I, I, I think it just boils down to how easy it is to actually like mentally to deconstruct a process to accomplish um, to accomplish um, to accomplish a certain design. So um, so you just you, you just look at a design and um, you start breaking it down into small steps. So um, from the process of using uh, circles and guides, and then using gradients to uh, to uh, get the shades, to get the shades and the highlights and, and, and all of that, and maybe then just adding our small um, extra and all that. So. Um, this is not my artwork. This is not mine. Remember, this belongs to our good friend um, and Yoga Perdana from Indonesia. And um, I hope that I was able to do his work some justice for in this style. All right. So um, I'll just put this together. Just put this together. Um, I like do the red thing, um, blur, caution blur. Oh, yeah, it, it's 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 weird to always watch because Illustrator doesn't understand blur. Literally, I mean, he tries to. It's true. Illustrator doesn't understand blur. Like I usually admire people who who, who try to, to blur with Illustrator. And like man, you've got chops for this stuff. So I'm thinking maybe we could just uh, we could take possibly with this guy. So. So we have it. There we have it. We have um, all curves and stuff. All right. So um, I think this is it. This is where we will just uh, like throw the curtains on this. We have given it our shot, and we hope that we did it some justice. It's not perfect. I'm not perfect. This is the first time I'm actually doing stuff like this, but um, I think like we did a really good job at sticking to. Um, to being as close as possible to this style of creative work. All right, so um, uh, remember to subscribe in the link below uh, so we can like get like fresh content and, and like um, do a lot of stuff. This year we actually plan we have, we have, we have like some big plan like big plans for Playboy TV. And um, I intend on taking on a few case studies from end to end. I intend on looking at some branding projects. I intend on looking at some um, motion graphics and broadcast identity projects. I intend on looking at some um, like a complete app end to end um, user user experience or so product design process. Um, we will be touching on prototyping, especially, and how to actually create like new prototypes and all that. And uh, it's it's gonna be a whole lot of fun. I will do my best to um, publish work and upload videos um, as strictly as my work schedule can afford. Um, but. Thank you guys for watching and um, I think I already said this, don't forget to subscribe. Also don't forget that I have got like three Dribbly Bites, so first of all subscribe here, one, two, um, follow us on, follow um, Overlay and Layers on Instagram and then send Overlay Awards like four samples of your work but basically like you know, for by the end so basically the full instructions are like in, in, in the uh, in the description below so um yeah i've pretty much said like a lot right now i'm actually like, tired of hearing my voice so um it's 2018 guys be creative have fun and stay sane all right peace How do you
How do you put this? How do you put this off? Oh my god! The horror. 